Okay, you guys, I just got my oil changed. It was only $30. I have $10 left. I'm so excited about that. That's all the money that I have. Um, I went on, oh, first I should tell you, I don't have a job. Vanya texted me yesterday and said that his dad put one of their full-time employees into the bank, so there's no building for me to clean. So he said that, and I was like, kind of mad and kind of like not mad but like uh very much feeling the pressure of I need to get this done now and like figure something out For some reason in my head I decided that in 12 days I'm gonna take my exam like that seemingly came out of nowhere um so I'm doing that I've been doing a ton of homework not a ton I did like three chapters and I did like half a cohort on my managerial accounting class, but it's irrelevant. Well, not really. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't have a job. And I was like thinking, what can I do? I got home that day and they're hiring for a custodial two position in Barrie for the state, okay? My other interview with the state was in Waterbury, which as everyone knows at this point, is a halfway point between Montpelier, where I live, where all my family is, and Hyde Park where I'm moving to in the spring, okay? So, <laughs> I had that in Waterbury and that was like 12 something an hour, which is not exactly what I wanna be making. This custodial two position, the district manager is Jonathan. And so he was my district manager when I worked in Berlin because where I live, Montpelier, Barry, Berlin, that's all like a big, not conglomerate <laughs> it's a big it's like all next to each other it's the same area waterbury for some reason has a different area and it could be because between waterbury and montpelier they have so many state buildings that they have to split it up so it's not all under one person um because it's really not that far it's only 30 minutes away um well and anyway so there's that but also uh <laughs> I think Phil, my boss at the state hospital, my old boss, he's in charge of the state hospital. He's also in charge of other buildings in Barrie, like the Barrie Courthouse and the McFarland Building, which is Economic Services Division, where you go to get your food stamps and emergency housing and welfare and all that stuff. So he has other buildings that he's a manager of. And when I looked, after I applied for Custodial 2, <laughs> I knew, at first I knew it was Jonathan, so I was like, oh, that's my district. like. Then I found out it said Barry, and I was like, no way. Like, is that gonna be Phil? Is it gonna be Jonathan and Phil again in my interview? Um, because they both have implied and or said to me or other people that they would hire me back. So, I mean, that would be awesome. And it's more than $12 an hour, it's 13 something. And of course, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, there's two state raises, two, two state raises, there's two raises a year. Um, your cost of living increase, which isn't a lot, and then your <clears throat> six month one, and then after that it's an annual raise based on performance, which my performance is, I didn't get outstanding, I got like excellent, like less than outstanding, I can't remember what Phil said, he, he was like, there's only one, oh, I think he said he couldn't give me outstanding, um, because then there would be no room for improvement. And so he couldn't give me outstanding on my evaluation. <sighs> Whatever. But that's a good thing, I'm not complaining. I kind of am complaining, but I shouldn't be. I should shut up, probably. <laughs> hey, I was supposed to go to the library and now I'm going home. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, so that happened yesterday, but the deadline isn't for seven more days. And then everything gets forwarded to the hiring manager. So I would have to wait, which is fine. And also my phone was shut off this morning, but my mom paid for that on her credit card for me to have my phone service on. So go mom, I love you. Shout out to my mom. You're awesome. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, she's gonna want some money from me. <laughs> as soon as I get a job, I'm just gonna hand out all my money to other people. I'm gonna keep like $30 for gas and that's it. Get ready for it, because it's coming. Okay, so then the next thing is, I went on care.com, and I tried this before in Vermont, and I tried it again in Massachusetts, and it just never worked. And so I went on care.com, this time it worked, right? I got my account set up, and I started applying for jobs. Care.com is kind of like 
a thumbtack type of thing. It's like um, home advisors or something. People want services and you offer your services and you bid on jobs. So I did that and I applied for some jobs um, at 20 bucks an hour, which is less than I am used to charging. I usually charge at least $25 an hour, but I'm like, Ugh, because I can do that, that's fine, whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, so I applied for cleaning jobs through them and hopefully something will happen because I'm that whole driving to New York for $300 thing probably isn't gonna happen for two weeks. Um, but hopefully I will have a job. And then the other thing is that if I work for the state, I won't get paid for a month because they pay bi-weekly and they hold your first check. But that's what's going on with, why? Why am I going backwards? Oh my fucking shit. Can my car please stop going backwards? That freaks me out. Last time this happened, it was a transmission fluid leak. And every time it happens, every single time my car goes backward, I freak out because I feel like I'm gonna like die or something. So if that could stop happening, that, <laughs> that would be great. Like that would be so great. Which I mean, I can't really afford, I can't afford to drive around anyway. I'm literally like gonna go to the library and then I'm gonna drive to interviews. I have like a, over half a tank of gas, so I am I will be good, okay? Cause I don't need to go anywhere. Um, and also if I, well no, I can't take the bus. That's 50 cents one way. So that would be like a dollar and I'm, <laughs> I have $10. I don't want to spend $10 on the bus, actually. But I can walk through the library and stuff. Like, I really don't need to drive. And plus, it's 21 degrees out, so I mean, it's practically, like, warm. Like, mm. Okay, this is a very, very rambly vlog. Last thing I want to tell you is I went to my sister's mechanic in Williamstown, okay? Williamstown and Northfield are two of my, like, favorite hick towns. They have a very particular culture, a lot of, um wood, a lot of guns, a lot of redneck hick type of people, and I really like that a lot, <laughs> um, but it's a different kind of like culture than like in the city, like in Montpelier, no one's really like that, the city is more like hippie granola type of people, um, which I don't mean to stereotype, but I mean, that's a pretty accurate description of the different cultures across towns in Vermont. So anyway, me and this guy, the like office computer guy, had an amazing conversation about like pretty much everything off grid. And he was telling me how to heat my sauna with a wood stove. And I asked him, or I suggested like, you should make a video explaining this and I can put it on my channel because I don't think I'm gonna remember everything you're saying and I kind of I have the gist of it because I've been researching it and like I said to Shamar I was like looking already into like doing an underground fire to make a kiln under the ground um because you know that's how they used to do it so anyway I'm like I'm thinking of all these things is that a police officer it doesn't matter I'm driving the speed limit hey I'm driving the speed limit oh! tickets for me which is good because I don't have a job and I can't afford it I can't afford it I got ten dollars I got ten dollars and the speeding tickets usually 200 to 250 dollars and I'm not getting it <laughs> okay so yeah we just had an amazing conversation about like everything off-grid and about Vermont and about tiny houses and about the saunas and about like everything and it was so good and <laughs> tell me how I go to a mechanic for the first time to get an oil change, okay? And this guy <laughs> tells me to leave my boyfriend. He wasn't hitting on me or anything. I was like explaining all this off-grid stuff. And I told him I have a not boyfriend. And he was like, oh, and like a not boyfriend, like, okay. <laughs> and then like, I don't know, like 30 seconds into that conversation, He's like, yeah, it sounds like you should just leave him. <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm gonna have to in the spring because I'm going to Hyde Park. And like, he like likes to play video games and I like to 
dig in the mud and make pallet houses and hook up solar panels and all these other things that other people don't do. Um, so anyway, yeah, that... <laughs> How much more of an obvious sign do I need to do the right thing? It's like, okay, can... whatever. Okay, I have to end this video now. Subscribe if you want. Definitely, I won't blame you if you don't because what are you even gaining from watching me blabber? It's like word vomit just coming out of my mouth into your ears. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of disgusting, vomit. But anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll get a job with the state. It would be so funny. Even just to go have an interview with Jonathan and Phil again, I just feel like that would be so funny. But I really, really need a job. And 13 something an hour isn't bad. And also, there's two annual raises, so that's good. Um, and also, I need to contact my old employer, and I have to email them so that I can get my W-2s and do my taxes. Now this is getting into like a note to self of everything I have to do. So I should probably do that, and probably I have to do it. Oh, and I also did my financial aid stuff, so come April, I'm gonna have $2,000, which is specifically for paying off my credit card debt if I don't do that already and then also it's specifically for in case we need to make a $2,000 payment to the land or prepay the property taxes or buy some gravel for the road or any of those types of things that have to do with serving the children of Israel because they're my favorite people in the whole entire world okay I need to end this video 